Hello friends, uh, in the previous sessions we discussed two hexagonal uh, primate problem. One is edges on HP, another one is interesting problem where the resting edge has a triangular face which is perpendicular to both HP and VP problem is discussed. If you wish to see those uh, primate solid videos, you can check the description box along with the questions. The video links has been shared. Now read this question which is belongs to pentagonal primate. Side of is 25 mm and 55 mm height lies with one of its slant edges on HP. One of its slant edges on HP such that its axis is parallel to VP. Here also this is peculiar question where no axis inclinations are given. By the conditions of slant edges on HP we have to draw the final position of this primate problem. Okay. So being slant edges on HP first of all what is the slant edge? So as we discussed in the earlier cases OA, OB, OC, OD, OE all are slant edges, 5 slant edges. Okay, this OA and OB and OC, OD, OE. Any one of these slant edges has to be lying on. With that I can clearly say if any one of these slant edges on HP means what? Whether the corner will touch HP or the slant edge will be on HP. If the triangular face means I can clearly say if the triangular face is on HP I can clearly say edge has to be touches on HP. Now being slant edge where is the slant edge? OB is the one slant edge. It is slant edge is on the corner of the pentagonal plane surface. Another if you take any slant edge in the base it is touching the one of the corner of the plane surface called pentagon so with this i can clearly say one corner so touches the hp if one of its slant edges on hp the oa ob oc od oe are the slant edges the slant edges is connecting at the corners of the base plane surface called pentagon so I can fix by touching one of the corner of pentagon on HP. So fix one of the corner of the pentagon on HP. Why we fixed corner? If it is a slant edge, corner is slant edge is connected on the corner. If it is the triangular face on, on HP means what is the triangular face? OBC is one triangular face, OCD is another triangular face. Likewise, we can fix by triangular faces. In that case, BC is the edge. H must touches the HP. Being slant edge, slant edge is connected on the corner. Okay, so this is the position of uh, pentagon plane surface. After the rotation of 90 degree, it is the final position of the top view. So we have one more opportunity to draw this uh, plane surface. After rotation of 90 degree in clockwise direction, this corner may shift to left side. Uh, always use the uh, conditions of the questions on the right side here the slant edge on HP nothing but we finalized if the slant edge is on HP one corner of the base pentagon should touch XY so with this I can say I can keep the corner on the right side for better uh, position of uh, step number 3 okay, it is more convenient for us to uh, solve step 3 now draw this uh, solution for this what is the position of top view this is the position of uh, top view now you can give a name uh, what is the uh, name of all the corners before that what is the base side it is 25 mm and make sure that while drawing a pentagon these two edges will be exactly on the same projectors okay now you can give a name of all the corners as a b c d e so being primed what we supposed to do now we have to join all the corners through slant edges to connect apex or vertex. So you can take this corner for drawing diagonal nothing but the midpoint of AB. Now you can take the midpoint of this green line nothing but a diagonal fix O. Okay midpoint of this then fix O. You can join all the respective slant edges to this point or apex or vertex called O. Okay, always uh, make sure that you completed this uh, slant edges to the apex or vertex has been connected. Now you can extend the projectors from all the extend the projectors from 
all the corners okay before that here the axis is uh, away from the corner in the both the previous cases of hexagonal pyramid one edges is exactly lying on axis so we never used the axis representation check uh, in the prism videos this axis line is not as clear like this so you see the representation of uh, axis long dashed dot lines long dash then a dot then dash dot so long dash dot lines has to be represented by means of a thin line okay now after the extension of all the projectors i can clearly say what is the height of this axis 55 mm is the height after fixing the axis height as 55 mm now you can join all the slant edges from the respective corners as well as the base okay join all the corners uh, the slant edges through the respective corners now this is what as and as an observer is standing here i can say this b c d is visible but a is a e is invisible b can be visible from this view c also visible d also visible but what about e and a it is invisible it has to be denoted in the bracket b das a das c das e das then d das finally it is o das this is the simple position of this pentagonal pyramid Long. Now, what's the next question? One of its slant edges on HP. What is the slant edge on HP? We finalized. If the slant edge is on HP, one corner should touch XY. Which corner we fixed? D. This corner we fixed. This corner is D. So, this D, what is the slant edge of this D is corner D. I'm having OD as the slant edge. So, we can check. Similarly, in the front view, O dash D, D dash is the slant edge has to be on HP. So, it should touches exactly on the XY reference line. Now, measure the distance of O dash D dash. This is not a length of 55 mm. Don't use 55 for completing this O dash D dash. Always measure using scale O dash D dash length and then you can fix any point on the XY complete O dash D dash slant edge. After the completion of this slant edge, now I have to fix this base B dash A dash D dash. B dash A dash D dash. This is O dash. This is D dash. So for this B dash A dash, what we did in the uh, previous problem also, we can do the similar procedure or you can measure the inclination. You can keep the protractor on the O dash D dash line, measure the inclination of this base. Okay, measure the inclination of this space otherwise you can take this uh, d dash as center and make this b dash a dash as radius this point as uh, center and draw an arc then o dash as center measure the distance of b dash a, a dash by keeping this point as center draw an arc both will meet at one point then you can complete the base okay so what we did this d dash this is the d dash as center what about the radius this b dash a dash as radius from d dash what is the distance you measure the uh, distance as radius draw one arc and another arc o dash as center this b dash a dash as radius draw another arc both will meet at one point join the base now this is the re replica of this simple position front view only thing is the slant edge is on HP okay so complete all the uh, respective points of corners of this uh, simple position now you can extend the projectors from all the corners from the front and top view first step both respective corners will meet at a point we can mark it as uh, respective corner notations a1 b1 c1 here it is C and E. So C1, E1, and the here it is D. So here also D. So D1 is meeting at the D dash and D is meeting at this point. Here it is E projector is extended. So E is meeting at this point E1. What about last one? O dash. You can extend the projector from O dash. It is meeting at this point. Make it as O1. Now all the projectors. So uh, from all the corners also extended and we 
identify the respective meeting points now you can join all the boundaries of the view now you can join all the boundaries of this view and clearly you can see this entire uh, pentagon surface being it is uh, inclined now i can see from the top view if an observer is standing here i can clearly see all these corners a b c d e so i can see all the pentagon corners so you can join all the pentagon corners by means of continuous declines a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 d1 d1 e1 okay. i can clearly see all the corners of this particular top view from the top view i can see all the corners of the pentagonal surface so what about slant edges this oa ob can be seen from the top view oa ob also seen from the top view okay oa ob can be seen from the top view and one more thing uh, first we have to complete the boundaries of the this top view what about boundaries this co and eo is the boundary so you can join then you can check oa is visible as well as uh, oe also visible from the uh, top view so that has to be joined by means of OA and OB has to be joined by means of a which one continuous declines it's still if you have a doubt see first you have to uh, draw the boundaries of the uh, top view after the completion of pentagonal plane and surface this O1 E1 is the boundary what about next boundary it is O1 C1 after that the remaining slant edges are OA OB and OD. Here from the top view, I can clearly see this slant edge O dash, A dash, O dash, B dash. So I can join both OA1, O1, A1, O1, uh, B1 by means of continuous thick lines. So from the top view, this O dash, D dash is invisible from the top view. From the top view, this O dash, D dash exactly on HP, it is not visible from the top view. So I can join this by means of a hidden lines. Okay. so always remember if the slant edges on hp what about the slant edges here you can see all the slant edges oa ob oc od oe so if the slant edges on hp means one corner should touch us one corner is on hp that is the meaning if it is a rectangular face where is the rectangular face oab is the rectangular face ocb is the rectangular face if the rectangular face is on hp what is the meaning one edge is on hp if the slant edge is on HP, one corner is on HP. That's why we kept this corner on this side. We make sure that one slant edge is on HP. One slant edge is O dash, D dash is the slant edge which is lying on. Based on this condition, we solved this particular pentagonal pyramid problem. If you have any queries or any doubts, you can uh, type it in the comment box. I'm ready to answer at any time. Okay.